Hey everyone, welcome in to a, another daily editorial here on the KE Report. In this daily editorial, we are getting an update from GMG, also known as Graphene Manufacturing Group, traded on the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol GMG. I am chatting with the founder and CEO, Craig Nickel. Now, just to bring everybody up to speed, GMG has three different product lines. The battery, graphene, aluminum ion batteries. This division has garnered a lot of attention from investors. There's also the Thermal XR division, which I know everyone's wondering just how close to revenue is this division, and also the graphene lubricants division. We're going to focus a lot on the batteries here because just in the last couple of days, there have been some pretty big developments coming out of the company. October 25th, a news release said that GMG and Bosch, the large conglomerate, have signed a collaboration agreement for Bosch to design and deliver GMG's graphene aluminum ion battery manufacturing plant. This is an automated plant. And then there was another news release on October 26 that mentions the commencement of construction of the battery pilot plant. These news releases play into each other and it's really a process of the company taking these graphene aluminum ion batteries into really consumers hands but first things first this pilot plant what information can you give us craig in terms of how long it'll take to build and what goes into this pilot plant hey corey thanks for having me back on so with pleasure the uh, pilot plant actually um you know was really meant to be installed and operating before now maybe um, another month ago a few weeks ago uh, but we delayed it to be able to to sign uh, a new headquarters lease. So we've delayed it by about three to four weeks. The equipment's already here, um, but we're, we've now signed the lease to go to a, a larger site, around 2,000 square metres, very close to where we are. But we bring all of our equipment together and we put the pilot plant in that. So we, we'll be up and running in, in, a, in, a, in a number of weeks and making um, batteries there. This is, of course, in addition to where we make batteries at University of Queensland as well. So we'll have then two sites making these coin cell batteries, which is very exciting um, because it enables us to, to do and test and get that learning loop going as fast as possible. But of course, yesterday's uh, announcement around the um, pilot plant was also adding in uh, pouch packs. Um, so we'll be, um, we've also taken a decision to invest in a, a pouch pack pilot plant. So that enables us to make batteries that you would normally see in your phone, in your laptop, uh, and can also be into other types of devices like um, electric vehicles and houses and um, electric drones. So it enables us to make bespoke batteries for people in our pilot plant, and that'll then flow uh, the learnings from the coin cell in, in, uh, pilot plant into that uh, pouch pack and bring, bring closer to us to some some larger revenue opportunities in, in pouch pack batteries as well. So in you know, a number of ways we've really progressed the company this week um and you know very happy to talk to you about it so in terms of this adding of the pouch plant and now having essentially two pilot plants assembling these batteries and commissioning expected for november your own pilot plant what does that mean for getting a product then out to consumers and as you said getting some sort of revenue contract signed yeah, so that's, um, the pilot plant enables us to make sure the nanochemistry is working um, with the graphene and aluminium. Again, as your listeners would know, we don't have any lithium or copper or cobalt or manganese or nickel in our batteries. It's just carbon, which is our graphene and, and aluminium. So we get the, nan the nanomaterial working fine, and then we can then start looking at a much, uh, much larger automated plant, and that's where Bosch comes in. So... So we've, we've been talking to and working with Bosch for some time, and uh, this is Bosch Australia Manufacturing System Solutions. And they're one of uh, two groups, Bosch globally, provides services to innovative companies like ours, um, one, another one in Germany. And they provide complete manufacturing systems out, out to companies to, to get them started and get them out. And we've, and we've kind of said, well, let's work together to, to get out our automated production uh, battery system. So what that means is once we've worked out the pilot plan has done the right battery and our customer says, yes, that's what we want, 
we'll obviously have to get all the right approvals and make sure the customer's sales deal is there. We then go into building our automated plant uh, to make our batteries that those customers want, and that's what we'd ask Bosch to do. So they, instead of going and getting a number of companies to do it for us or building that capacity internally from ground up, we've decided to work with one of the largest manufacturing companies in the world, um, some $500 billion company um, that has an enormous amount of um, automation and manufacturing knowledge, uh, who will then be able to allow us to to really gear, you know, shift to into a higher gear, faster um, in producing our batteries in a more more reliable way as well. So that's the next phase. Once we've done the pilot plant work and we've got these coin cells working the way we are, we want them. We would then hopefully with a customer sale contract <laughs> and whatever else we need, take an investment decision. We believe we have enough, enough money to go away right now in the bank to do this work and to build the next automated plant, of course, subject to the size of it, but we believe we've got enough for the right size we think we're going to do that on. And then, and then with Bosch, build that out with our own engineers building the graphene plant as well because you do need the graphene plant. And that would be all based on the pilot plant battery technology that we would have finalized and obviously owned through our, our license with UQ. Okay, so the process really being then use these pilot plants to develop a battery that some larger consumer, it sounds like, takes on, puts into their products, and then you go ahead with that automated plant that Bosch helps to build. How many batteries, when it comes to pouch packs or even the coin sales, are you looking to produce or at least test out of this pilot plant? Yeah, so pilot plant uh, batteries, are you, you would typically not make more than, you know, um, maybe 20, 30 a day, but, and then you would test them and you would see what their uh, outcomes are, how fast they charge, how long they, they keep their charge for, how much energy you get per kilogram, how much energy you get per litre. And depending on which application and market you're going to, the type of customer you're going to, they all have different requirements. So one battery does not make a battery um, king for all. Um, they all have different requirements. So you would try to find the one that meets our existing require, existing production quality specifications with the customer that wants that. And then you would then go and look and, and build the automated plant around that. Um, and, and so, you know, 20 a day, although you could probably do it faster, you might be able to do 50 a day. Um, they're, they're not really looking, you're not looking for any revenue from these. Um, you're really just looking and saying, this is what I've got. This is all the data. Um, send it to that prospective customer. They say yes or no. If that's correct, hopefully you then go into some kind of sales agreement. Look at anything else you need to produce to get to a FID, a final investment decision on the production equipment, and then go and invest and start operating. Coin cells, you would be looking at anywhere from two to three to four million coin cells a year. You know, we could probably quite easily get up to that with our production system. We'll, we'll need to see how much energy each one of these coin cells a prospective customer might want to see. And that's all part of the conversations that we're having otherwise as well with many, many different companies around the world. How many companies in general is your target audience here? Because there's a lot of products out there, a lot of companies that make products that need batteries, especially custom-made batteries and even batteries that last longer than competitors, what is the market that you guys are targeting? Yeah, it's, 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 it's huge. And there's a lot of existing applications, but then there's a lot of new applications as well. You know, coin cells roughly, um, the little watch batteries, they're, they're generally you know, around $6 billion a year. That's the, that's the market. And you know, their price range can be quite, quite high if you're talking rechargeable, which ours are versus the single use ones, which are a lot less, um, a lot lower cost. And then you've got the, the amount of uh, charge they have you know, over a period of time, because a lot of these hold in stock. Um, but you, you're, you're looking at everything from garage door opening kind of uses, which we probably won't get to, um, but really all the way up to very high end types of devices that people 
nowadays find they're in, inseparable from. You could easily put coin cells into high-end headphones. The, the latest um, kind of locating devices, IoT devices, all need very small coin cells. Um, so there's, there's a number of different technologies that are existing, um, but there's many that are coming out that need a very fast charging, long life um, battery that will provide, you know, a, a greener solution than what they've currently got. And, you know, we're, we're, we're talking to many big companies in that space. So then, Craig, you also mentioned that the new headquarters is also a pretty big development within this or these recent news releases. What does that enable the company to move forward with having everything all in one area, one building? Yeah, it really helps us to have the graphene manufacturing, the liquid graphene blending uh, and the battery pilot plant and, and, and the offices for all the staff all in one location. And that's, that's really significant. Um, we're currently in three offices close by, um, but we're currently in three offices where um, factories and, um, and, and University of Queensland, which is another 10 minutes away is where we make our batteries. So having all of that in one location, one building, 2,000 square metres, it also has the ability for expansion to put in the automated uh, battery plant as well. So we're really quite, quite excited about that. We've got... Um, We've got some um, opportunity to put solar cells on the roof like we already have on the existing manufacturing site. And we're also doing cogeneration from the tail gas, which is largely hydrogen, which will power our plasmas as well. So we'll have a green footprint, uh, even greener go- going forward, and we'll have an integrated kind of management through the operator on the production floor, which you know is a, is a, is a bit um, stretched right now. Um, but yeah, and, and it's only, it's pretty, pretty close to existing sites. So it's, it's not much of a challenge moving. So all of that huge opportunities to kind of bring together all of these parts of the company, um, in one centered location and then grow to, you know, the team around as we build our revenues, grow our team to keep delivering, um, on, on, you know, the, the products then that our customers would be buying. So when it comes to cost, you alluded to it earlier, but in terms of the cost of at least building the pilot plant, sounds like you guys already have a lot of the equipment already on site, but then the automated plant, are you dependent on a, let's say, sales contract to help fully build that plant? Yeah, so it's a, it's a good question. Uh, look, I think we have the, right now, we have the capital that we believe would provide us to build the plant. Um, that we believe could provide us with a multi-million dollar battery contract, as well as, you know, at least one and a half, two years worth of um, corporate costs, overheads. Depending on the risk appetite of the board at the time, um, we would probably still require a customer agreement before we start building our factory. But we do believe we have the, the capital we need to, 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 to build the plant that we think our customers might need. Of course, if our customers just say, well, I want 100 million coin cells and, you know, 3 million isn't going to cut it, we'll have to do something. But <laughs> right now we're not expecting that. Um, and we're expecting um, a few million up front and then we can go from there um, and then build out from that and show that, you know, we can deliver and, and you know, hopefully uh, build another plant. Uh, look, the next plant might be another expansion on coin cells. Or it could be straight into making pouch packs in automated in an automated sense, because um, that's um, that's really where the market is in very large pouch packs um, that you can put in EVs, you can put in you know personal electronics, which are you know, fifty billion dollars a year in batteries, and then also into other things like um, large grid and and even large trucks and aviation with pers- with um, pouch packs as well. So. Coin cells, make it work, build up a plant on a, on a sales agreement. Then as, you, as we're doing that, hopefully bringing in revenue from TXR and then G Lubricant and then um, going and doing a pouch pack automated plant and building that out and getting revenue, revenue from that. That's generally kind of the next kind of three to five year outlook, I reckon. Um, lots, of, lots of things in flux and lots of people interested. Uh, in in how to both um, 
invest, um, work for us, and then also buy our batteries, um, which is good. Um, we just got to keep pushing out and getting things done and, and moving to the next step. Oh, this news from just this week really does sound like you guys have started moving to that next step. And hey, we'll follow along as this continues, especially on the battery front. I do have to ask you real quick, in terms of the Thermal XR or TXR division, how close are you guys to revenue in that front? Because we've talked about it a few months ago, and I know a lot of people are wondering, but are there any insights you can give us here? Yeah, so Corey, we're, we're very much focused on that. So we have half the team focused on getting TXR across the line into a multi-million dollar revenue outcome. Uh, and then half the team focused on pushing batteries and getting the battery project delivered. So we're very much focused on it. Um, you know, we're, we're really getting into the implementation side in another country around Middle East um, and, and obviously in, in Southeast Asia and, and in Australia, seeing how it works in different countries. We've seen great results. Um, they are on our website. You can see all different types of um, uh, TXR examples, projects we've got up now. Um, and it's really getting that proof to the customer in a way that they want to see it. That's where it's at. And hence, you know, our head technician for TXR is over in Middle East. Um, we've got a number of um, large opportunities at different countries that we're working with different partners on, um, obviously mainly um, working with Apeña uh, Management Services and um, in, in, in UAE. So that, that is definitely a, a space that we have high priority focus on, um, both operationally and at board. And, um, you know, we hope to have that, you know, come into a, a very nice um, corporate cost covering sales deal uh, in the very near future. Okay, Craig, appreciate the update. If anybody has any follow-up questions, please email me, fleck at kereport.com. I will get Craig to address those. In full disclosure, I am a shareholder of GMG. We're going to keep following along as more news is released out of either of the three divisions from the company. Craig, thanks again for your time. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Corey.